Water, what all living things depend on, and a resource we are using to destroy our own environment. Our ancestors invented and discovered many things. Technology that made us more effective hunters, builders, and farmers. By utilizing the Earth's resources, our ideas quickly grew more and more complex. The Roman Empire was home to millions of people, all of whom needed water. The Romans built gravity dams to control hydraulic flow, providing advanced irrigation methods and drinking water to cities, as well as the ability to carry away used water and waste. During the Industrial Revolution, dams were created on a larger scale. Dams could hold back more water and were able to power factory machinery. In the early 1900s, the electricity demand decreased, and we entered into a big dam building era. It was during this time that the Hoover Dam was built, a dam that still supplies 8 million people electricity each year. But unfortunately, like most man-made inventions that alter the environment, dams disrupt the way a river naturally functions. Dams divert water for power and other uses, causing dramatic changes in water levels. This can leave vast expanses completely dewatered at times, killing thousands of fish in the process. Dams alter the flow of a river, causing substantial changes to groundwater storing floodplains and wetlands. These changes can lead to the destruction of forests. The forests that, among other things, help regulate the local climate. Recent research has found that reservoirs contribute 1 billion tons of annual carbon dioxide equivalents meaning that reservoirs contribute to 1.3% of the global total. These emissions are 25% higher than was previously thought. In many ways, dams are a perfect example of humans altering their environment and it having unexpected effects. So what should we do? How can we find a balance between the needs of humans and the needs of our environment? Well, sometimes we find cracks in our progress, but man has always found a way. Let's find the way.